Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Kenshi, where the base is just going to be doing its thing for a little bit. There's about a hundred starving, hungry bandits running around back there, it looks like. I... What are the... And there's another group of starving bandits about the same size? Holy shit. Part of me honestly hopes that they merge together and come down here. Honestly, I may- I might have to shrink the size of squads, that's insane. Plus, it's also killing my computer, I'm pretty sure. A group of tech hunters just randomly pop out of the middle of nowhere. Uh, Charlos... Actually... Go talk to them. I may try and hire them for mercenaries, we're gonna need all the help we can get. Uh, mercenaries for eight days. What, you don't have anything to do? I'm gonna say bullshit. You're loaded up on all types of stuff, and if you can't, can't do a job, then go practice your assassination. I have some people set up to practice assassination. Oh god, shooting all the wounded crawlers. Uh, is it go time? Yep. We've got dust bandits that have shown up. So... Plump runs out there and starts dancing through them. I think I just caught an arrow to the knee. You rat bastards. Yeah, dust bandits fucking love their crossbows. Unfortunately. Jonathan Gladue shows up. Catches an arrow or something to the stomach. Get him, Interceptor. Yeah. Actually, I want you to go after these guys. There we go. 71 damage chop. Get back here and deal with these two. I did not know that Bone Dogs got so powerful. I mean, Interceptor basically chops through two of them all by himself. Though so hitting for 78 by Plump isn't terrible either. Holy shit, this guy is a pincushion. We got a mercenary about ready to bleed out here. Okay. Took you assholes long enough to come around. So, did anybody go down? Does not look like it. Got more tyrants in the background. Tyrants. Am I calling them tyants or ty- I think I'm saying tyrants every time. I'm tired recently, so all I feel like I'm slurring all of my words. I've also bit my tongue and have a cut on the top of it. Just making me talk all funny in order not to brush it against my teeth or anything. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, what to do today? What to do today? Plump, are you done with research yet? No. So, get your ass back to it. I'm ready to decorate something. Look at all those fucking tyrants that just popped up. Another gigantic group of starving bandits. Are we being attacked again? No. Shopping Tempest is on the way. Okay. I need money. Burton, how's your backpack? Empty? Fucking gorgeous. Let's go ahead. I don't need to go inside. Despite the fact I always want to. Uh, what I need to do, come in here. Do I have anybody in here already? No. Honestly, the farmhouse does not get much use. I should have done this ages ago. But let's go ahead and do it now. Get some shop counters set up. Do one there and one there for now. I may end up moving those around. So everybody, I'll build this shit. 
We need it up and quick. Most of my weapon shop tables are full, I believe, already, so... Where are you at, Burton? You're gonna be the rum transporter. Whether you like it or not. Get all of the rum that I've got produced up. I doubt they buy it all. Hell, honestly, I doubt they buy any of it. But I can dream, can't I? Maybe, since I've increased the squad size for everybody, maybe there'll be more great rich men that show up. Throw some food on here for people. Not exactly... in danger of running out of that. I did say I wanted to have kind of a way station set up, so... Dust Witches, they go for 300 credits each. That's not bad. And... There we go. I think that's good enough for now. I'm not going to set anything else up on the other table. Um, the table in this tavern is probably kind of empty, but that's fine. I should probably just turn this into some type of general store, since I've got all this storage next to it. Remove the beds upstairs, actually. In fact, let me do that now. Because I'm tired of people resting up here. Make sure that I don't remove the entire building. On accident. This will open up some more area for the cozy decorations to be thrown. I really honestly need help, like, coming up with ideas for various buildings. I've got so much space. So we've got the research building, the library, the prison tower, the barracks that I'm thinking about moving, actually, to over here. Just have it on the edge of the farm field, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. And then turn this part of the base into, like, residential houses. Something like that. This will be the general store slash bar. This will be the hospital. Like, I know I'm missing some type of building. If this was Dwarf Fortress, I would... Or even RimWorld, I would say, where's my storage building at? But storage is easy enough to sectionalize here. God, has anybody been running out there and dying Denver and Interceptor all the way over here? Got tech hunters hanging around. A dead bone dog alpha. Plump, don't you have... Yep. Dust Town Alpha... Come loot that real quick. I think if this has two hides on it, I'll only need one more. Aw, oh, some... I, I... Bone Dog Alpha, Dust Hound... Okay. For a second I thought that was like, aired out. This guy, this poor guy is crippled. Can I splint his injuries? Nope. Okay. Well, I tried. Interceptor, get back out over here. Demos, what the hell are you doing? Foraging animals all the way out there. Holy crap, are you trying to die? This is how I end up accidentally losing people. I didn't... Have you... You guys haven't always went this far to forage things, have you? I feel like the answer to that question is no. Like, a universal no. I'll be completely fucked if they come over here and try to loot animals. I might have to disable that. Anybody else in weird positions? I have to start playing it like this, making make sure that nobody is... Running too far from base. Tons of fucking tyrants. 
And they're all going to be pulled over here to these buffalo herds that get slaughtered. Who the hell do we have fighting here? Oh, you're still fighting these things over and over and over? Dust Hound Alpha. Okay, well... Uh, I'm gonna go loot that one too, of course. No, Mind's Eye! Leave that fucking... Okay, he left it. Dust Hound, so I need two more of those. Dust Hound... Only the Alphas have the skin. Dust Hound, Dust Hound... I was looking for blood earlier and didn't see their carcasses camouflaged into the ground. Dust Hound. Okay. Yeah, this is dangerous. My guys never used to move all the way out here this far. We've got starving bandits there. Escaped Holy Nation outlaws. Um, is that a... Okay, I, th I thought that was a Grieve Wraith. Are these things chasing me now? Oh yeah, Bone Dog. Well, I'm, I got out of there just in time. So, uh, this is a bit of crap. <laughs> Look at the slaughter. All my mercenaries pathing out there. This is gonna end horribly. Um, so. I'm gonna have to disable this and just forage manually, I guess. Where is it? Forage, forage, forage. I know that you've got it. You're running out there. Okay, maybe not. The Moss, remove yours. Kyra, let's get this sorted out. Interceptor, okay, Mind's Eye. No more foraging. Foraging is over with. And I'll have to watch and see if anybody else comes out here. Go inside. Let's say, if you guys need something to do... I can help. No more foraging. Cane. I know it's tempting. Hell, I'd rather you not even go protect allies. Like, what, what allies are you protecting? The ones fighting stupid things over here? Yeah, fighting a tyrant. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm going to let them go. Denver and them are going. This is going to be a disaster. Multiple tyrants are going to show up here. Yeah, this one's coming. That one's running away for some reason from a, a buffalo. Okay. Remember, it's dangerous to group up on these things. Not that anyone ever listens. Uh, what I need is you guys back off for a second. I want Denver over here, first and foremost. Dr. Chung, be a medic. Denver, go in for the kill. In fact, can you taunt? Yes, you can. That's the first time I've used that. Look. My dinosaurs should always be taunting. Got wounded people all around. Okay. I can't believe that that is... Was running away from a wild bull. From a buffalo. Dino? We're definitely gonna need your ass over here. Um, here we go. Gonna chase somebody. Question is, who is it gonna chase? Sad Neil? Better not be you. Anski? I think it's tra chasing this guy. Yep. Okay, shit's going south real quick. Um, we got bolts flying through the air. Is this thing even close to being down? No, not really. All of my guys, except for... I hope I clicked on Dino. Get out. Or Denver, anyways. Let's run past this guy. Oh, God. He just about drop kicked us. We're out of here. I'm going to let Denver fight. I'll bring Dino in. Dino can jump into that clusterfuck. All of you go inside. Uh, Dino, your job is to attack that one. 
also, I should probably send cat dog, murder face, Rex, definitely you. You're the eldest and most badass. So, as I was saying, I may might just have to make all of my uh all of my people just passive or something. I I don't want to be juggling them every time they want to run out here and heal people or attempt to assist them. Cuz this is the this is suicidal stuff for them to try and get involved in. Dino's running low on blood. This one has a ton. Denver is down, unfortunately. Looks like he took one tyrant with him. Okay, um, all of you... Just get over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna label my whole base that's right here as passive, actually. Sad Neil, you too. Crash man, you get to be passive. Pack beasts, you can go run around for all I care. Now the tricky part is not getting them to run out there and try to heal everything. Uh, I do need somebody, damn it. Should have been thinking about this. Somebody out here to loot. So we took all those ones down. Looks like there's a whole bunch of tyrants down right there that I should go loot too. Okay. I don't know who you're drop kicking there, Dino. Who are you mad at? Oh. Triangle Bandit. Okay. Charlos, get over here. Of course, we gotta play soccer. With the corpse for a little bit. Okay. Make sure they don't ever wake up again. Uh, hawkbird tree, can you not? No foraging animals, okay? I already have enough shit going on. This one's blood loss KO, well. Stay KO'd forever. I want this whole nest destroyed. Honestly. Yeah, you're gonna come after me? I'm gonna loot your whole family first. Or not, no. Say, it doesn't help when you kick the corpse away, you know. Thankfully, at like 39 miles per hour, I can still juke and dodge most of the crap. No, don't run fucking up there, you crazy. Um, murder phase. Come down here. Okay, Rex and Cat Dog. I don't know if, if they can take one of these things on. Um. Shit, and this one's full health. Dino, I definitely need you. If I could ever just click on your name, that would be perfect. Okay, Cat Dog and Rex are going in. Murder phase, go in. Plump. Probably send you in. You're pretty good. Diabetic. Let me guess. You're, yep. See, you have to pay attention to the crazy ones. Denver, you'll be healed back up at some point. We've got... Zand of the Drifters fighting... A pup tyrant there. Ah, shit. This is what I wanted to avoid. Sadistic fucks. I don't need to be in medics. They're, they're say there's there's not a really incredibly good way to do this. Mind's eye. Who are you carrying? Ah, mercenary, okay. So I want to see something. This one's pretty beat up. I think Dino can go ahead and take that one. Are any of my 
pets dying. Conscious, unconscious. They're tough as nails. So all of you here, go help attack that one. You want to be goddamn heroes. Leave Denver to his devices. We'll clear out this nest. Go. It's a pup, so I could actually take this one back to a cage as well. Get one more dinosaur. But. I don't want to deal with it. Take this. Okay, the rest of you go, I guess. Get kicked and clawed in the face. Nope, it's down. Okay, plump. Loot this one. That went a whole lot better than I thought it would. I'm glad Denver showed back up. So that might be... God, there's still so many of them. Still so many of them. Everybody heal up. I'm gonna watch my guys make sure they don't do anything crazy here. Make sure a Grieve Wraith doesn't show up. Poop, where are you going? Foraging animals? We don't do that here anymore. Back off. Aurelius, I know that you think there's good meat out there, but... There's only death. There's only tyrants. Yeah, run away, tyrants. This one's back up. Critical. Uh, Denver, go finish it. We can't give this one a chance to grow up and be badass. Oh. Yeah, eat it. Eat its face off. This is a this is a pretty good view of the base. We're gonna stay here for a moment. I'm gonna mute my well. I'm gonna say I was gonna mute myself and take a drink, but I mean, I guess I could go help the buffalo attack these two things. Dino, you're not doing too bad, but you need more blood. Got Grieve Wraiths. Here we go. Everybody. Go inside here. I need Jonathan. Okay, nope. Cat, cat Dog and Rex are back up. I don't want anybody around to pull a Grieve Wraith over here. Not when my dinosaurs are severely injured. Oh, there we go. There's one. I think we got out of there just in time. All of you, get over here. Don't tell me all those bodies were eight already. I know better than that game. Okay. So... The Grieve Wraith is going to start screwing things up as well, I know. They've got fairly good vision when they want to, and if they see my mercenaries and decide that it's time to attack, well, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. However, I will go ahead and put some lights up. I think... Let's see. I want searchlights in a few places. I should have put searchlights on all of the corners, actually. That'll work. I guess we'll just have searchlights on this corner. Because I'm too lazy to go delete all of the lights on other ones. Okay. What do you mean? Say, so that looks plenty blue to me. That's going to have a ton of light coming from it. The side where my mercenaries love to patrol has been dark for far too long, so... Let's give them some light. I mean, too close to another building. Like, it's not technically a building, sir. It's just the iron mine. Wasteland regulations say we can only build within so-and-so feet. Yeah, put a light there. Why not? That'll keep everyone busy for about 50 seconds, probably. Uh, 
Amazing. I took a drink and nobody died. Hopefully this time I'll be able to get all my lights built. Yeah, see that's a lot better. Before the sun goes comes up, turns them all off. I am gonna have to do something about my energy situation though. I've noticed noticed it more often than not. Being higher than I can actually supply, like right now. So Shopping Tempest is finally here. Wonderful. Yeah, see, these lights are so much better. What I should do also, hang on. Can I place? Nope, I can only place it up here, so... If I place this here, which I can't because the turret... Or, yeah, the crossbow is there. Damn it. I was going to say, that would shine a light over this direction, but... Okay. Never mind. I don't need to make my base brighter. Despite the fact I want to. I'm gonna step away for a minute. Grieve raids. Now's your chance. Come really ruin my day. Okay, pack beasts. Every single one of you has a lantern, huh? I mean, uh, at some point I'm going to have to do something with these things, right? All they're doing right now is eating my food. Uh, specialist grade plump, are you actually producing anything? He's like, no, because these shirts take three days to build, you ass. Why don't you get some more people actually working on things instead of just me? Well, let's see. Ray, 29 armor smithing. Cody, 39 armor smithing. Robotics bench. Berserk, heavy armor smithy. Light jacket. Say. Could get you over here making. I guess you could start making drifters boots. I don't have a whole lot of really good. But where to choose from. Like, I don't want to make any of the Berserk armor because I'm already pretty sure that it's going to be as unbalanced as the Halo armor is. So, I think what I need to make is another chain armor crafting bench. I'm going to assume... You know what, can I make it... Do I have room down here? Possibly. Game's like, yeah, but it's gonna be a tight squeeze. It's probably gonna fuck up people on that crafting bench, huh? I mean, I can try this right here. This is... come on. The delicate process. I think I've likened it before to a game of operation. Okay, let's build that. It's day 175, and I don't know if I like my new game settings. I may shrink the squad size because while it's fun, uh, it's also a little bit ridiculous. Let's see, the Great Richmond... I was going to say, the Great Richmond have already shown up, if I'm not mistaken, unless there's more on the way. Which I'm not going to complain about. Part of me feels guilty about using them. Yeah, that's got to be them running away. Like, so many of the mods would be perfect if they were just toned down a little bit. Like, the Menders would be great if they weren't so common and they weren't so overpowered. If they were just another average faction that... Simply loved running around and healing people. Who the hell is fighting over here? Heck Hunters, Mercenary Guild. So, um... I don't know what that guy did to piss everyone off. But yeah, if the Menders were just 
more in line with everyone else so that they didn't just slaughter everything that runs across their path. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Band of bones. I was going to say, but likewise the, the shopping spree. It would be great if it was just a trickle of customers every day or so just coming into your fort like travelers and adventurers and they buy stuff. It'd be a slow trickle of money and commerce and you'd have to watch your tables regularly and stuff, see what was selling, move it out, move out stuff that doesn't sell, etc, etc. Where are you guys going? Instead, the Great Richmond are much like the Menders. They are overtuned and... Just extreme. It kind of unbalances things. Okay, guys, get down here and fight these assholes. I think all of you should be able to take them. It is a Band of Bones member and another one. All with skills in the 20s. Hawkbird Tree just gets fucking pummeled, though. Takes a massive left leg injury. Right, get him, Denver. So, I'm not too terribly worried about Band of Bones members. Granted, if they show up with, like, 50 or 60, then yeah, that's going to be a problem. Like, what do we have back here? Okay. I was a little bit worried. I saw all those mushrooms standing up, and it looked like people in formation. I thought the Holy Nation might be getting ready to launch a secret assault at me. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Whenever we come back, more base shenanigans. Uh, get some people set up on some more machines for armor crafting and everything. And continue to defend the base. See you then.